STAD Pro is a finite element-based structural engineering software product for 3D model generation, analysis, and multi-material design. Over the past year, STAD Pro Connect Edition was released. This version of STAD Pro represents a significant update to the product, complete with a new graphical user interface, physical model or workflow, and faster solver. Over the next series of videos, we are going to introduce you to the new STAD Pro environment and assist you in transitioning from STAD Pro V8i to STAD Pro Connect Edition. Now, before we jump into STAD Pro Connect Edition, I am first going to open a project in STAD Pro V8i. This will demonstrate two key points that we should consider as we transition over to STAD Pro Connect Edition from STAD Pro V8i. First, although the graphical user interface has been updated significantly using a ribbon style layout, the main workflow of the program is the same. Next, any project that was created in STAD Pro V8i can be opened and modified in STAD Pro Connect Edition, which we will see in a moment. Now let's take a quick look at the old graphical user interface. Along the top of the screen, you're going to find your menu bar and your toolbars. Your menu bar will provide access to the STAD Pro menu functions, while the toolbar contains access to the most frequently used commands. Over the left-hand side of the screen, you're going to find your page control area, which will allow you to perform specific tasks for each tab. The organization of the tabs and the page control from top to bottom represent the logical sequence of operations in STAD Pro. Now at the center of the screen, you're also going to find your main window, which will display the graphical representation of the model and any other display options, along with your data area, which will display dialogues, tables, lists, and so forth. The data area is context sensitive to the type of operation being performed. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this exact same model in STAD Pro Connect Edition. I have now opened the sample model in STAD Pro Connect Edition. It's important to note that this model was created in STAD Pro V8i, and I've successfully opened this project in STAD Pro Connect Edition. Now let's take a quick overview of the new graphical user interface. At the top of the screen, we're going to find our quick access toolbar. This will contain your commonly used tools, such as save a model or open a model. Over at the top right hand side of the screen, we are going to see our connect tools, which will provide access to connect advisor and your connect user profile. We'll get into these tools in a video later in this series. Then at the top of the screen, you're going to find your ribbon toolbar. This will provide access to the STAD Pro modeling analysis and design commands. We can think of our ribbon toolbar as replacing our menu bar from STAD Pro V8i along with all of those toolbars that you saw either at the top or the left hand side of your screen. Right below your ribbon toolbar is your workflow page control area. Now this will contain different workflows for your model. The organizational tabs in the workflow page control area from left to right represent the logical sequence of operations in STAD Pro. Generally, it is recommended to progress through the tabs from left to right to enter the data that is relevant for your project. Now, this particular area of the screen basically replaces the page control area that you saw at the left-hand side of your screen in your STAD Pro V8i. Now, at the center of our screen, we still have our view window, which will display the graphical representation of the model and any other display options. We still have our status bar at the bottom of the screen and our data area, which contains tables, page dialogues, and your model status. Let's take a closer look at a few of these particular areas in our new STAD Pro Connect Edition. And the first area I'm going to draw your attention to is our quick access toolbar, which is located at the top of your screen. This will contain your commonly used tools such as save a model or open a model. In addition to that, though, we can customize this toolbar with the commands that we use most often. If you notice, there is a customize quick access toolbar icon available, and we can pull this down and find some frequently used commands. For example, 
I like to access my STAD Pro input file pretty frequently. So I'm going to go ahead and select the checkbox to add my command file icon right up in my quick access toolbar. In addition to that, any icon that is available in the ribbon can also be added to this area. So let's go ahead and click this icon again, and let's go ahead and search for some more commands. Now all the commands here are basically organized according to the tab for which they appear. For example, let me go ahead and select my Analysis and Design tab. And I like to have quick access to my Run Analysis command. So I'm going to highlight my Run Analysis command and move it over to my Quick Access toolbar. I can also organize these tools any way I like by using the up or down icons. Now if I'm pretty satisfied, let's go ahead and click OK and we're going to see our different commands available here. The next area I'm going to point your attention to is your workflow page control. The organization of the tabs in the workflow page control from left to right represent the logical sequence of operations in STAD Pro. This new area replaces the old page control area that was available at the left-hand side of your screen, and it contains the same major areas through your workflow that you would have had available in STAD Pro V8i. We're going to start by creating our model geometry using the Geometry tab. Now you're going to notice as you select each tab in the workflow page control, the data area is going to reveal the relevant dialogues or tables that are going to be appropriate for that step in your workflow. As you complete your geometry, you're going to move on to set your properties. For here we can enter our section properties, our beta angles for our members as well. Next, we're going to move on to our materials. We have our specifications, our supports, and our loading. To finish up our workflow, we're going to move on to our analysis and design area. We'll take a closer look at a few of these different tabs in some subsequent videos. But what's important to understand now is that your workflow of the program is basically the same. You would just access it through a slightly different area in STAD Pro Connect Edition. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.